there's a close. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to bid into this, right? So we're trying to bid into this. We're trying to bid into this trade. And uh, obviously, we've got this big wholesale price level on the horizon, $21. So that's the price that we want to try and work around. Remember, this is not fair value when it opens at 22 bucks. Fair value is $23.50, roughly. This is a double discount. And obviously, that's in line pretty much with a wholesale price level of $21 rupees right there. So we're going to try and work into those dollars right there. We're trying to work into that $21 level as a buyer of this disc double discount stock with the idea of trading it back towards fair value. So we're going to buy 21 bucks. We're trying to rattle it back up to that fair value price. Okay. So we're obviously going to target a 23 bucks and 50 cents which is approximately an 11% uh, gain on account at that stage. So if we can get up to this point here, we're making 11%, and that's a reasonable return uh, for the fact that you've got a double discount on a crap stock. Well, it's only crap for one day potentially, isn't it? Because it's got to be priced in. It's crap at this price. It's fair valued at this price at 23 bucks and 50 because this is the over round that the market makers price into the markets. Remember that. So the market makers priced in an over round the same way as bookmakers do. We want to get better than the over round, and we want to trade it back to fair value at 23 bucks and 50 cents. Make sense? Make sense? Make sense? Yeah, pretty simple stuff. It's a pretty simple trade. Elsewhere. Um, Let's take a look at our number two stock. These are the other, the other stock we did. We got a very, very big discount on this one. Uh, this was a whole different dimension, this trade. Oh, it was nano dimensions, wasn't it? So nano dimension. Here's the trade here. So you can already see where the trade discounted to. You can see where the wholesale price level was, $6. That's the big wholesale price level there, 6 bucks a trade. And uh, we bought up a lot of stock at $6. And uh, we can see where the trade opened, where the trade closed effectively here. And you can see that the discount, fair value price, of course, was actually here. So we've gone way through fair value. There was the market makers overround. So we're going to start watching from this point onwards here around about $6.10. So we start buying $6.10 into $6 here. So we start paying $6.10 into $6, down into $5.90. We buy all the stock we can get our hands on during this process here. If you don't want to buy it on the way down, wait until the bids show up, and then buy it on the way back up again. And obviously, we've went from $5.90 up to a high print price, obviously, of the previous close before the news of $6.60. And that is a great exit, guys. We blow out the fair value price. Buyers came back in above this level pushed it up to the target price area here. That's the maximum target that we would always accept on these uh, as, as, as a maximum target. That's what we'd look for. And obviously, we went from 5 bucks 90 up to a high print price of 6 bucks and 60 That's a 12% gain on that trade as well. 12% gain on that trade, guys. And that's on account, not on any leverage. That doesn't include any options. It's just a straightforward 12% gain from bottom to top. Not a bad return. It's actually like a box of chocolates, my friends. <laughs>